Good morning, everybody from the low country of South Carolina. I'm here with Ian, and we're about to hit some junk sites and hopefully find some snakes. I'm gonna strap up the GoPro and we're gonna get to flipping. All right, roadside board number one produced a rat snake with a really weird eye. Let's see if I can get the other side visible here. You can kind of see, see what I mean there. That one eye is a lot darker than the other one. But good start. Hopefully the first of many snakes we'll see today. All right, buddy. You, do this. you want me to do the honors? I can get right here. Two copperheads. That's a good looking one. Am I missing any? Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Copper, there's a toad right here too. There's another copperhead right here. Yeah, a toad, copperhead, another copperhead. All right, well, I'm sure these are gonna be the most common snake of the day. We're up to four already, but all have been pretty nice. This one's really light colored, and that one's a little redder. Good looking snakes though. Or two more copperheads. Trace. Three, yeah. It's crazy how hard to see they are under the tent. Laser focused to those two and didn't even see that one at first. All right, next set we have a triple flip. Little guy there and two bigger ones down there. Those look a little prettier. Let's see if we can get a look at them. That might be the most vibrant one so far. Very nice. The biggest one's pretty nice. Yeah. Two more. All right, there is number six and number seven. Two right here. Look at those two. That one on the right is beautiful. Very, very nice. That's eight and nine, right? Two more. Red boys. Is that a is that a maybe eye? Dude. Is that a maybe eye? Is that a flatwood it salamander? Is a maybe eye. Dude, what? That's a slimy salamander. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Alright, so under this piece we have copperheads nine and ten right i think and uh also this nutty looking slimy salamander that we thought was a maybe salamander at first well that is just that's unbelievable so we're actually going to take a second to photograph this thing because that is ridiculous it's, cool. it's yeah. awesome i mean that's probably the best thing we're going to see today unless things just get crazy all right i busted out the video light for y'all so you can see this guy a little bit better that's just ridiculous. And that is such a beautiful salamander. This is a South Carolina slimy, right? Variolatus. Plethodon variolatus. This is the local variation of, you know, just the regular old slimy salamander. But as you can see, he is not a regular old slimy salamander. We'll put him back under this piece of tin. He was hanging out with some copperheads. I don't remember any of this for what that's worth. There's a little guy. There's another one, at least one. It's copperheads falling over here. And there's copperhead number 12. All right, here we have a nice little squirrel tree frog again, just spotted, chilling in this bush. Good looking frog. Nice little stack. There's a little guy. I'll hold trouble. There's not a hole under here, is there? I don't think so. There's our first rattlesnake of the day. Hopefully it won't be the last, but a nice little juvenile cane break with uh, quite a long rattle segment for a snake that small. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, cold. He's cold. It's nice. He's about to shed. There you go, buddy. The dog wakes up now. You get him? He hmm? smells him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you go find something you don't want down there. Come on. <laughs> Copper. Copperhead. Well, I've definitely lost count of copperheads by now, but there's yet another one. Another racer and a copperhead. All right, there we have a really nice looking copperhead. And our second racer of the day. Look at that guy. Deep in shed. Oh, that's a nice NC2. Nice double. All right, we got a nice copperhead double here. That one's coiled up in a rodent nest. Nice light copper. Go for it. Oh, well, that was nice. Two copperheads too. I think this is the female that I've seen before. Really? The same yeah. one? Yeah. Well, that's what we were hoping for right there. Double copperheads and a big, beautiful cane break. All right, well, that was a fantastic flip. That copperhead's going out the back. And that is a beautiful timber rattlesnake. Got a pretty good string on it too. We'll cover these guys back up and get back to it. I think there's going to be a nice rat snake under here. That could have a double cane break. There's a copper. All right. I have completely lost count of uh, how many copper heads we've got, but this one's nice looking. Well, that's our first snake that's actually out that we've seen today, I think. Right past that copper head. Yet another racer, just chilling. Double copper. That one's weird looking. It's a mountain copper. A little copper. Well, Ian spotted our next find. There's an Eastern garter snake sitting out right there. Deep in shed, but nice colors on it potentially. There's a little bit of a better angle. Very nice. There sure are multiple. Is that three? They're wet. A lot of ventrals under here too. That was a nice triple. Had a couple of triples today. See one. It's a beauty. I'll just uh, gently lower that. Because you can't go out there. Cotton rat. This is the king snake piece. Double nothing. Copper. Oh yeah, and there's some scoots right there too. All right, peace out. Actually, I'll take a photo. How are you? Am I gonna take the finger bite for the team? <laughs> ah, that's a, that might be the nicest one of the day. He's kind of got a zipper. That's a good looking snake. Copper. Copperhead. All right, guys, well, the rain has begun, and I'm assuming our time is going to be cut short here pretty soon, but here is yet another copperhead, unsurprisingly. But we'll just leave this guy to it. We've got a couple more pieces to flip, and then we might be done for the day if it starts pouring.
I missed the flip on this guy because I wasn't recording, but that is another one of the nicer ones we've seen today. Look at that, super light with the nice copper head, of course. All right, everybody. Well, the rain finally showed up and uh, it showed up in a pretty big way. It's been pouring for a couple hours now. We flipped a little bit more, but didn't see too much. And eventually it just got too wet. So we had to get out of there to keep our camera gear nice and dry. But yeah, it's been a pretty fantastic day considering we only got out for a couple of hours. We are ending the day with a total of 45 snakes, which is pretty crazy for only like a half day, if you could even call it a half day. The highlight definitely being that big timber, but anytime we can just see this many snakes is awesome. And it's especially cool to be able to see this many venomous snakes, just back to back to back like that, really crazy. So yeah, with that being said, we're gonna drive to the area we're planning to herp tomorrow. And then we'll be up early in the morning to do this again, hopefully. I'm sure we won't see as many snakes tomorrow, but hopefully tomorrow will be more of a quality over quantity type day. Um, but we're going to have to see. I've never hurt the area we're going to, and I don't really know what to expect. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to wrap this up here, and I'll see you guys next time.